Sup guys, Lipitan here, and welcome to my very first mod review. Now, I think my dad's sleeping, so I'm gonna be a little bit quieter this time. Um, which is also the reason why I also did the World's Quietest Let's Play series, um, continuation. The continuations of it. But anyway, so... This is actually my very first mod video I've ever done in Minecraft. And, um, so, I actually, uh, downloaded, um, four mods. Well, technically, I'm gonna be, but I'm only gonna be show showcasing two, because the other two mods are only just requirements for, uh, require mods for the mod to work. Um... So, I have downloaded four mods, um, the, uh, d except for uh, not counting these because these are just default mods. I'm talking about these four. First of all, I downloaded um, not enough items, which actually um, I tried to install, but apparently... Apparently it requires this mod, just enough items, and Co-Chicken Library. So, I'll, I'll put these two in the description as well as these two. But, uh, so I, I am going to be reviewing viewing two mods. I'm going to be reviewing both Not Enough Items and The Twilight Forest. So, and as you probably can tell... The Twilight Forest is a very big mod. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's got everything in only one dimension. So, although the people who don't know these mods, I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you. So, basically, first of all, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, uh, for, for my mod reviews from now on, I am going to be using this mod called Not Enough Items. And Not Enough Items is a inventory tweaker that adds a whole bunch of new features to the GUI, like the pop-up and all that stuff. All you have to do to access, access, the, access the stuff featured in the mod is just press E. You can already tell just by that that you have a completely it's everything is changed. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Everything is changed. But anyway, so um the idea of this mod it's actually it was actually inspired a lot by uh, the it was inspired by the other mod called Too Many Items mod. It was called Too Many Items, uh, which is kind of similar to this, but it doesn't have as much features as this one has. So, yeah. Oh, also, apparently, uh, because of Twilight Forest... Oh! Oh, well, you know, it, it actually has, has like a whole inventory, uh, creative inventory specifically for Twilight Forest stuff. Interesting, okay, but anyway, so, um, not enough items, the idea is, and apparently Stone has an ID of one, so, so, so these are all grouped in IDs, uh, base, these are, are all ordered based off of their ID, um, right now I'm actually using, um, I'm actually using 1.12.2 of Minecraft, so you can probably tell there's like a whole bunch of new items in the Minecraft. But anyway, so basically the idea is, is that you can, um, so, well first, l l let me go over to the, uh, these options. There is the trash can option, which I'm not entirely sure what it, it does. You can turn rain on. Rain turned on. Look at that. It's raining. Turn it off. And it's not raining. 
So that's the idea. Set game mode to creative plus. This way you can instantly change game modes. Um, turn magnet, magnet mode on. I'm not entirely sure what that does. Set time to dawn. Set time to dawn. It just sets the time to dawn. As you can probably expect. However though, set time to noon. It changes to up there. The dusk and midnight. Oh, oh, apparently there's a new moon right now. Okay, interesting. I'm going to set it back to uh, daylight. And also a thing that that can happen is if I, if I switch into... Okay, I'm going to switch real quick. You know, I'm playing Creative Plus. Oh, Creative Plus. Don't know what that is, but okay. Apparently, there's a, it adds a new game mode, which is Creative Plus, which I have no idea what that is. Game mode to Adventure. And what happens when I take damage? I'm going to take damage right now. I'm going to go ahead and take damage. Dunzo. Ah, come on. Well... Well, I, I mean, you can kind of get the idea. You can heal the player to full health. I, I'm assuming you can you can do it just to full health. So, uh, yeah. Uh, survival. Let me get out of there. And done. Zode. Actually, I should probably have just... There we go. Hey, I have uh, rotten flesh. Gonna get rid of that. This is my very first mob review so uh, that I've ever done, so um, bear with me on that. I'm actually kind of really nervous on all this stuff, so... But anyway, so... So those are the options over there. I assume that the save... Um, well, actually... Well, you probably couldn't see the, the, the ones on, on the top left because... Because of my webcam uh, taking the place, but... There's also these functions. Um, these are save options. I assume it probably mi it might be with the the whole inventory saving. It might save stuff in inventory, maybe. I honestly have no idea. But in any case, um, options and then inventory. NEI enabled. You can disable this. You can, you can you can also disable this as well. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to enable it. So, yeah. And then game modes. Do all that. Alright. Layout style Minecraft. Alright. Okay, so this, however, this part is very important. As well as this. Options apply to all worlds. Um, sometimes you don't want that. So I am going to actually do it to W. So yeah. Overriding global setting. Um, but anyway, for now, I'm going to for now, I'm, I'm going to do it for global. But but eventually, though, you don't. But however, sometimes, though, you don't want to do that. So, uh, because, because who knows, you, you might want different settings for different worlds. So, yeah. That's just, uh, and also, also apparently they have a Patreon. Okay. Commands. They, they have a whole bunch of command. Oh, okay. So, so they just give you. Oh, okay. Well. So basically, I, 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 I couldn't even heal myself anyway because I didn't even actually put in the command to do it anyway. Alright. So, integration. Um, this is... Okay, so J-E-I stands for just enough items. Integration. Item panel. Okay. Alright, well, I'm not going to mess with that, but anyway, uh, tools, there's data dumps, I'm not going to mess with any of that, but 
this part, this is very important. So, if you are in cheat mode, so there, are, so, so there are three modes. There is, there is cheat mode, there's recipe mode, and there's utility mode. Honestly, I'm not entirely, I don't entirely think there is a, a very good use for utility mode so i'm not going to discuss it however you can find out for yourself but um cheat mode what it does is all you have to do is just grab an item you just uh hover over an item like in the search bar there's also multiple pages and it also applies with multiple mods as well such as you guessed the tri the Twilight Forest, which is what I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about later. Um, so yeah, it also inter integrates stuff from the the Twilight Forest, um, just in general other mods as well. So yeah, oh, apparently they have fancy stuff here, which I am I am not entirely sure what all this stuff is, but anyway, so. So the so the main functions is um however though um okay so the main goal of of cheat mode the main idea is that you can oh well um so apparently uh right now okay so I am go so however though what happens in cheat mode if you are if you click on an item and it doesn't give it to you instead it just gives you the recipe well i have a simple fix i actually have to look this one up because i was actually struggling with this one as well but i figured it out so just enough items config cheat mode faults and then, I don't know how, apply globally. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so, done. Alright, and then, and then a after you do that, um, cheat mode enable, control click here to toggle it. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know that. But anyway, so you can search up literally any block any item any entity any data value in the game like for example let's say let's say we want to have some saplings sapling and um it gives you kind of the basic idea however though um However, you, you, you might ask, um, search items, you, you could just do the same thing for here, it, it would do it, wait, what the heck? Alright, well, that's, that was weird. Whoa, okay, that was weird, but, you might be asking, what the, why is it doing that? That is odd. Well, anyway, so, 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 so you, so you look up saplings, and it, um, it does all this stuff, but however, though, that's only for creative mode. This is also effective in survival mode. So you can search up diamond. And if you want to, because we're in cheat mode, if you click on it, you get a diamond. And apparently I have new recipes unlocked. Okay. Advancement made. Diamonds. Okay. But anyway, so you can get a diamond. You can get this wonderful diamond here. Just by going into the inventory. But anyway, I'm going to go... I'm going to do, do all that. However, though... Um, I'm going to... For this one, now I'm going to go into recipe mode. Recipe mode's a little bit different. If you... Now, if you click on, on the diamond, wait, that's, okay, this is, this is getting weird. Oh, but anyway, so, 
it, you 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 have to you have to you have to hover hover over the item and press R. And it shows you and it shows you the crafting recipes as well as stuff like smelting diamond ore to diamond. I did not know you could do that apparent apparently you could. And also with the fact that that this is integrated with any mod ever ever like in the history of the world there's also a crafting table normal crafting table you can craft a crafting table you can figure it out but you can also craft an uncrafting table from the twilight forest which also does stuff for crafting so so that's pretty useful so crafting smelting yeah well in any case that's it for that and all you have to do you how, how do i get back all you have to do is just hit e and you're back to the inventory um and, and also um if you press r as you can see down there it says uh just enough items bookmarks i'm not entirely gonna be using it that much because I don't know I'm just not I'm just not gonna be using it that much but you can use it if you want to but so that's the basic idea of not enough items which is pretty cool so yeah so yeah you can you can look up recipes you can you can get items just yeah um, but yeah, so now, um, now I am going to actually look up the, uh, information of, okay, well, well, first of all, I'm going to give you the stuff that I already know, which is, um, so the Twilight Forest, uh, so now, now that we've talked about the, the not enough items mod, which is this stuff. I'm actually going to be talking about a mod called the Twilight Forest. The Twilight Forest is is the idea that there's a dimension, a very magical, very majestic forest. And also apparently I'm beside a village. Okay. So there's a majestic forest. Um, so that's a dimension. That's a new dimension. However... You might be wondering, what's the portal? How do I make the portal to go in there? Well, it's just as simple as doing this and grabbing some water and also just uh, um, going to grab some. I'm going to grab the stuff I need first. Um, so like grass. Fern, dandelion, allium, uh, mushroom, rose bush, lilac, And a puppy. Okay. Just in case I need I need all, all those then yeah. But anyway, so to make the portal, all you have to do is just punch these four blocks down in the face. So that way you have this two by two hole. How it, and uh, it has all around it it has to be it has to be filled in with, with dirt or grass. And the bottom also needs to be filled with dirt or grass. So you can't do it over stone. If that's what you were wondering. But now. All we have to do. Uh, now we have to. We, in order to actually do it. We need to place in some water. To make, to make ourselves a little pond. So we need to sacrifice a little bit of water. And. Now we just. We just add a few natural, we, we add any, anything that is natural, 
Like, for example, Poppy's lot. Gosh darn it, I did not mean to do that. Hold on just a second. Um, did not, did not mean to do that. Um, there we go. You can play, you can have poppies, lilacs, rose bushes, mushroom. Well, mushrooms are obviously going to be finicky because of the way they move. Um, alliums. But yeah, it, it, it does work with mushrooms as well. It, I guess apparently I, I just wasn't able to press this, place this down. I don't know why I can't place mushrooms down. I don't know. But you can have alliums, dandelions, ferns, and even grass. So I'm going to just fill this with natural stuff. Like, uh, all this stuff. Okay. And all we have to do now is simply just, uh, clear, just gonna clear my inventory. Grab ourselves a diamond. And all we have to do is just sacrifice it. That's all we have to do. So, and there you go. And apparently there's fire. There we go. And it does cause a lot of fire. And um, and you 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 want there to be. It would be highly recommended for this portal to be made above everything like 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 make sure there's no blocks above this portal cuz cuz the lightning oh crap cuz the lightning will destroy everything just like normal lightning i think i don't know wait anyway, wait let's go in see what whisking you off to to twilight forest it also has a custom also has a uh, custom loading screen for the dimension. But now, um, I am actually going to keep track of my coordinates, so... My coordinates... Um... 227... 34... 231. There we go. So we got the coordinates down. So, now we can start exploring. So, already, you can kind of see the difference. So, this is the dimension, and, um, for the biome, huh. So, 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 as all, uh, so, um, this is actually a very interesting dimension, though. It has, it's a dimension with many different biomes. Like, Right now, I am in the mushroom forest with, um, well, apparently it has wolves and stuff. Also has, uh, also has, uh, I think these are rabbits, probably. So they have the normal, min the, the normal Minecraft uh, mobs, at, like wolves and chickens and all that stuff. But they also have new mobs, like, like, uh, this is a boar. This is a wild, uh, hog. There's a, I think it's a boar. I think that's what it's called. I think it's a boar. And it adds a whole bunch of new trees as well. So. Oh. Remember that. Okay. But anyway, so it adds a whole new, bunch of new blocks. And it adds, it also adds an insect, which is called a firefly. Now, I'm just going to. Leave that alone. But anyway, so not only is there a whole bunch of new blocks, a whole bunch of new textures, the the sky is different. The sky is like completely different. But also just the fact that it has its own bosses. You heard me right. Kinda like the overworld has the evoker and the uh the uh, Elder Guardian. This one has bosses. Um, and I am I can list a few right now. Um, Urgas, um, uh, the Urgas, um, Naga, 
um, the 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 mini the 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 minnow shroom. Oh, and also there there are new animals like um, like as you saw there were boars, and these are horned sheep. That is what they added, horned sheep. So right now I'm gonna actually search for a. Also apparently in this biome there's. What biome am I? Firefly Forest. So apparently in Firefly Forest, there's a whole bunch of firefly jars all around. Which is very interesting. Also, they have birds. They also have birds. So yeah, it also has custom sounds in it as well. It also has like different sounds and all that stuff. Alright, I'm actually going to try and find myself a boss. Yeah, so, I'm going to try and find myself a boss here. What, what is down here? Yeah, probably nothing. Well, well, well I mean, I, I bet there's probably some... Oh! Oh, also, um, these guys are really important. Because, um, I am going to look up, um, um... Uh, feather, raven feather, raven feathers are, they do a whole bunch of different stuff, like for example, wait, why can't I access it, that's weird, alright, it's weird that I can't, huh, is my, yeah I'm in recipe mode, that's weird, it, it's, it still has a few bugs to, to like, it still has a few bugs to work out, but, uh, yeah. In any case, uh, so, um, this is used for stuff like, um, um, peacock, feather fan, uh, steel leaf, uh, stuff, and, uh, yeah. And they actually, oh, here's a boss, okay, so, they're, they're also used for a bunch of different stuff, so, that's why they're important. But now, oh, there's also deer as well. This is where things get interesting. You wanna know why? This is the Naga. This is a boss that you can fight in Minecraft in the, in the Twilight Forest. Basically, this guy... This guy lives in this arena where he can, everywhere he goes... He basically, he can destroy any block he desires, much like the, much like the Ender Dragon. So, uh, oh, okay. And apparently, so, but yeah, so, so they also have new trees as well, so, yeah. With new saplings as well, so. Okay, but anyway, so, yeah. And he is just obliterating everything right now. But, uh. These guys are just like regular sheep, and that they have different colors. Like, one can spawn with blue. Just kind of like normal sheep as well. Just kind of like normal sheep. But except they're horned. So, yeah. So they're just horned sheep. Oh yeah, and look at all these birdies. But anyway, so... I guess that'll be it. And... Oh, apparently these are... I don't know what these are. Mushgrew. Mush gloom. Okay, so they, so these are like uh, I I assume these like do they like gloom in the darkness or something? Probably. Yeah, they do. Okay, they they have a glo they have a that that they, they have like a bright they have a brightness to them. Anyway, so that is about it for the not for the uh, for the uh, Twilight Forest and. The, these are not all the features of the Twilight Forest, and obviously those are, uh, the ones that I mentioned of not enough items. Those are not the current. Those are not the entire details of not enough items, because obviously there's a whole bunch more. If you want to know more more detail over what the features are for each mod. 
then you can so does oh what the heck are these are these like these are thorns huh spreading very very quickly anyway so these um these mods um can be accessed through the wiki through a wiki which um they can they can help you with if you're ha if you're having like trouble uh, finding something you can always access the, the the wiki and just just in general a whole bunch of stuff so yeah and I can probably guess that if I were in survival mode I'd probably take damage off of these just like I take damage off of cactuses so yeah that's pretty that's pretty interesting what biome is this thornlands <laughs> No wonder. No wonder it's all covered in thorns. That's freaking thornlands. Huh. I I definitely have a hard time uh, navigating through this in survival mode. Jesus. Good lord. I'd have like a super hard time navigating this in survival mode. Jesus. But in any case, that'll be it for uh, this video. <clears throat> but anyway, so that'll be it for those uh, four mods. Uh, four because of the the uh, the two mods that are required to run not enough items, um, which you can also find in, in the wikis as well for these guys. I'm not really gonna go over them because I don't really need to. But anyway, so um, that was it. That's it for this video of. Uh, my very first mod showcase. So, and that's also yeah, that that'll be it for this video. If you if you have any if you have already, it'd be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel. I'll have new videos uh, pretty often, but not too often because of high school and stuff. And if you like this video and check out my other videos, they're also pretty awesome. So, ratings will be much appreciated. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. <laughs>